I was uh, completing my master classes in, in Pakistan uh, when I found that in a day, uh, uh, 26 women and children died in a camp due to hunger and hate. And that was the time that we said, what we can do for our people in such a difficult condition. Me with a group of other friends, we start campaigning, collecting clothes, medicine, food for those people who were living in the camps without a tent. And uh, it was amazing that uh, in just a few days, uh, most of the girls we were, we had disability in a way or other way, but we could manage to, to collect food, clothes for thousands of family members in the camp. And uh, sitting back and seeing that we could do it uh, with uh, a little bit more struggle, we could do it. And that was the time that we thought it's better to do it more regularly, more in more proper way. And for us, it was like we should not train our people as a beggar that all the time we should beg others to, to give us something, then we should give to others. And we were thinking that we should help our people in sustainable manner, in, a, in the way that they should learn how to help themselves. That's why we gave the organization the name of Nori Educational Center, with uh, the light of education and capacity building. Uh, we, we, um, we start our work. We start education program and activity for women in the camps. Uh, we found that many other issues are there, such as uh, women do not understand about their rights, about their um, uh, human rights, basic human rights and even about their Islamic rights that our religion and our society has to give us. Uh, so that was the time beside giving educational activity, we start thinking to, to provide some uh, women's rights issues in our program. Uh, as an entry point, we started with Islamic uh, rights education for women. And later on, we found that it's not only women that they should know about their right. If men, they do not understand and they do not support. So if the women are getting education, what is the, the use of it? Mm -hmm. They do not, uh, they are not allowed to utilize that work. Especially the work with imams we did. It was also a turning point in our uh, um, activities. Uh, the work we started with 20, 20 imams in Kabul city and the way their attitude, their mentality was positively uh, came towards women rights and human rights. So it was marvelous lesson for us and now we are uh, copying that methodology and now we are reaching to 6,000 Imams in 22 provinces of Afghanistan. And every day I receive more um, messages that we should extend our program. So Imams in every community they have upper hand. and. Whoever may be a president of the country has to listen to Imam what they are saying. And if we uh, empower Imam and if we um, take their support and if they are taking stand and putting their self as a role model and an example, so there will be positive changes. So that's why we, we wanted to to work more properly, more strategically, to have better impact um, uh, in shorter period of time, we should have more impact. Mm -hmm. 
Even when a child is coming to the world, the first person is giving um, welcoming note to that child, to that baby, is Imam in our society. If the issue of marriage ceremony is the issue of um, conflicts or the issue of anything, so Imams have prominent role in our society. So as a theory of the um, theory of social change, um, a tipping point strategy says that when you work with a group of influential people, that is just like a drop of ink on a paper, then it will be spread out. So we have learned that through the work with the way moms on specific issues of child marriage, women's education, women social participation, we have learned that when one drop is properly dropped down, so it will expand it. And, uh, uh, that's why we believe that imams are very influential figure of the society and uh, through them we can bring more positive changes. Leadership uh, for me and my life uh, is just like a pioneer. A person things different from others or maybe challenge the status quo situation and can see differently to, to aspect of life. And when he or she is taking that thing deeply and can find that there are some positive uh, uh, notion in that thinking. So of course, it will bring you lots of other followers. And uh, people has to go for that. People has to work for that. Then it doesn't mean that you should always be in the same position. But when you have cultivated the seeds, it should grow up. It should go, it should change to a tree which makes fruits, which makes shadows. And with this small implementation of trees, you will cover a bigger area, which lots of other people will be benefited from that. So you might be there, you might not be there. Uh, but what you have given to the people, that's important. And I believe that's leadership. It's very beautiful.